Like. Now this segment, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, music. Because music plays a, 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 a very important part in our culture and in our strategy. Now, you know, in music, you know, when you're creating a song or something, when you create music, back in the day, they had a horn section, string section, a rhythm section. They Sometimes they would use it, and sometimes they don't. Now, the Osley Brothers, they, did, they didn't hardly too much use uh, strings and horns. They just had a rhythm section, you know, uh, keyboards, drums, bass, guitar, and uh, so, so that so, and a whole lot of guys didn't use a whole lot, but like Curtis Mayfield, Isaac Hayes, Barry White, Barry White had a whole orchestra, and I'm gonna point him out. He, he, his, his stuff was symphonic, he had a, he had a, a classical soul, you know. And he had strings and horns and guitars, and they had intricate arrangements, you know. See, this, this, uh, this type of music right here uh, is hard to uh, coordinate, you know. And if you're hearing all these parts in your head, you got to read these different uh, parts in your head. You got to relate that to the uh, musicians, you know. And half of them guys couldn't write music. You know, they couldn't score score music. So uh, Curtis couldn't, you know. And he would often use horns and strings and rhythm section and vocals. Now you got... Uh, the vocals got an arrangement. The horns got an arrangement. The, the rhythm section got an arrangement. And the string section got an arrangement. And a lot of times they wouldn't dub dub stuff in. They go to the uh, studio. And all of them would be in that studio. And they would do it uh, oftentimes in one take. You know. But nowadays, you know. They uh, do it piece by piece. You know, they might lay down the bass track. But nowadays, on rap, they don't even use all that stuff. And and another thing about about uh, rap is they don't have no climax to their music. They don't have no crescendo. They don't have no uh, uh, accent. You know, a lot of y'all don't know what I'm talking about, even though y'all call yourself uh, music music makers. They don't have no accent like the drums used to have. They used to have a horn solo or a guitar solo, and the drums, uh, you know, they would have they would breaks, you know, have breaks, and change up beats sometimes, you know. Uh, real live drum do you know and uh you know that's you know to to arrange something like that and everything that takes a lot of talent but most of y'all most of the guys now nah, they just straight through and they don't have no climax to the song some songs have several climax you know it's almost like sex man you know when you play music you know and uh but anyway since they uh done hooked up music like they do now uh it takes away from your creativity the way when y'all go into the producers and plus it, you know you don't need no musicians no more man 
And that ain't that ain't too cool, man, you know. But anyway, they dummying down y'all music, y'all rappers. Even though y'all still make it sound good, you know, y'all still make it sound good. Y'all get into a groove and, you know, y'all don't come off that groove, don't have no breaks in it or nothing. But now Tupac, he did, you know. Tupac used, used music for rap and he used it real good. You know. But anyway, uh, we're running out of minutes here. And uh, I just want to uh, tell y'all that y'all creativity is being taken from y'all gradually. Therefore, your strategy, how you strategize and use your imagination when you're banging on the beast is very important. You see, you got to realize that the beast takes from what you got and uses it back on you. Now it's time for us to use it back on him, reverse it. Black light. This is one.